is JB with Rad JBI. I'm here with Rhino again. Uh, since our last update, we made some minor improvements to the forks by just making them about 7% firmer than their first setup. And uh, since then, Ryan's had some more time on the bike and I'll let him take over from here. Yeah, I put a little bit more time. We The first adjustment we did, we did with the rear suspension. He definitely made it stiffer. So it felt like it overpowered the front, felt like the front was a little bit soft, come in the corners, it was diving, I was having to push back, uh, having front and wheel push, and then that doesn't work when you're trying to go fast or attack something, or especially on a 450. So we made the, the fork um, setting a little bit stiffer. Of course, JB can tell you how he did it and what he did, but we made it stand up a little bit more so it didn't go down into the stroke so far. So one, <clears throat> the feeling to me is a little bit happier, a little bit softer, because I'm up in the top part of it. But now the, four, the balance of the bike hasn't been unsettled because it dropped down so much. Because if the bike drops down like this and I have braking bumps, well now I'm gonna get kicked more. If the bike drops down in the front too much going downhill, I just made that hill steeper, so to, so to speak. So I always want that front end to be up a little bit in the medium part of the stroke that isn't too soft where it's unsettling the, the balance of the bike, but it's not too stiff where it's causing the bike not to turn. You know, you gotta have that fine balance there and that's where you gotta test around and if you don't ever try then you don't ever know so that's why I always say go the direction until it's too far then go backwards but uh, we got a good setup <clears throat> with the Honda you know they were having some issues with the, the balance of the bike and things like that but we went more probably on the stiffer side I would say probably. you know the normal you know yeah. with the Honda to keep it to keep it more balanced it doesn't have a rocker effect so it doesn't move around so much and then I like a bike that doesn't move so much uh, so I can ride it smooth or I can ride it aggressive. So I think we have a pretty good balance now. If I was going to do anything, because we have a 5.1 and a 5.2 fork in there. We do. Yeah. Uh, spring. So what I would do, if anything, and you know, we might do this, is go to a 5.2, 5.2 to see if we can keep it up a little bit more just when I'm really breaking hard or trying to go hard into corners. So, but everything that, I think we got a great idea. A great uh, setup, sorry. No worries. Awesome. Thank you for your feedback, man. We'll keep you guys in the loop as we get more time on the bike. But for the most part, we got a lot of the series work done on it. And now it's just going to be fine-tuning it as Rhino gets more and more time on the bike. Thanks for watching. Bye.